Welcome to Math Made Easy with Frida. Let's solve for X today with absolute values and inequalities. Let's start. Let's start with the first one. Here we have 3x plus 7. The absolute value of 3x plus 7 is greater than 4. So we can remember for absolute values, we have to split it into positive and negative. All right. Let's do the positive part first. When you want to remove the absolute value sign, we have to split it into positive and negative. So let's do the positive first, which is 3x plus 7 is, is greater than 4. Let's solve this part. We will have 3x is greater than uh, subtract 7 on both sides, negative 3, divide by 3 on both sides. We get x is greater than negative 1. So that's one of your answers. Then you uh, plug in the negative where in the negative, we write 3x plus 7. Now we flip the sign instead of less than, instead of greater than, it becomes less than negative 4. All right. Then we carry on and solve this. We get 3x is less than negative 11. And we get x is less than negative 11 over 3. So these are your two answers. And in interval notation, let's write these numbers. X is all the numbers which are greater than negative 1. So the numbers will be from negative 1 all the way to infinity, not including the number 1. So we use a round bracket. And here we have x, the value of x is all the numbers less than negative 11, which will be negative infinity all the way to negative 11. All right, and not including these two numbers. So this is how we solve inequalities. First, we split into positive and negative, And then when you put in, plug in the negative value, we flip the sign. All right, so let's solve this next equation. Over here, first let's get rid of the 4 and the plus 3. So it will be simpler to work on just the absolute value. So we get rid of the first plus 3 first by subtracting 3 on both sides. And we get 4. Absolute value of 5 minus 2x is less than 7 minus 3 is 4. Divide by 4 on both sides. We get 1, so we have absolute value of 5 minus 2x is less than 1. This is what we work on now. We need positive and negative. So we have 5 minus 2x is less than 1. And we have uh, 5 minus 2x is greater than negative 1. Let's solve this and we get x negative 2x is less than negative 4 divided by negative 2 and negative 2. The sign now flips because of that. Because you divide by a negative number we get x is greater than 2. Then we do this side where we have negative 2x is greater than negative 6. Divide by negative 2, divide by negative 2. The sign flips and becomes less than, x is less than 3. So looking at this, we can come, we can see that x lies between 2 and 3. So we can rewrite this in an interval notation as a uh, 2 is less than x which is less than 3 it's basically a number between 2 and 3 but not including 2 or 3 and interval notation is 2 and 3 numbers between 2 and 3 but not including the number 2 and not including the number 3 that's an interval notation Thank you for watching Math Made Easy with Frida. This was solving for x with inequalities and absolute values. Hope you enjoyed this video. Till next time, bye.